Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I am working on my cross stitch conversion project. I was not able to work on this much of last week or this week, uh, and I did not do a progress check in uh, last weekend, but I'm back. So, this is what we're working on. The name of the pattern is Geode. It is by Electric City Stitches on Etsy. It is a big boy. It will measure uh, about 121 centimeters by 117 centimeters when done. It has 136 colors. I am using three canvases that I got from Evermoment on AliExpress and each canvas is 43 centimeters across by 118 centimeters down. I purchased my drills from Evermoment, or not from, excuse me, not from Evermoment, from DPF Handwork on AliExpress, and uh, I do not recommend after not the best customer service. Oh, hang on, I gotta grab my box, cuz. Doo -doo -doo. I received the missing drills from DPF Handwork, and I received the drills that I ordered from, uh, what you call it? Diamond Drills USA. They both came on the same day. So I had a good laugh about that. Uh, so I now have all the drills uh, after a long and drawn out hoopla. So I will add one of these to my, uh, you know, pots. <laughs> Let's see, okay, back back to the spiel. I just remembered I was gonna grab that stuff. Oop, there's a pop up drill. I'm a little distracted this morning. It's been a weird morning. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm using Art Dot 240 bottle case so I can keep everything together. I am using Pattern Keeper to keep track of my pattern. And I am at 10.54%. Oh, here's my, my, little, my little tracker chart. So this is where I am so far. I'm working on this little section. And uh, these actually were only measure two down, but because I was going to attempt to do uh, a three by three section instead of a two by six, two by, oh God, I can't talk today. <coughs> oh, no, I'm joking. Great. Instead of a two by three section. So I just made a little line on this one. So once I, you know, complete the next row, then I will just color that one in completely. And yeah, I know what I'm doing. That's all that matters. <laughs> so... Let's get this started. Um, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit without making a giant fail of everything. Okay, and it's weirdly dark again today, but it is the first day of fall and it actually feels kind of fallish. My heat came on and I was like, oh heck yeah, cause I'm here for the heat. So let's get my first color. Oops, can't see that on the the screen. It's hard because like I have to I have to push my canvas further away than I normally would so I can film it. And so I feel like I'm leaning over and like all hunchback of Notre Dame when I'm working on this. When I'm filming. When I'm not, I can pull it closer to myself. But that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So how is everyone doing? It was kind of weird not having this to work on last weekend, but I was not home, so I was not about to bring this on the road with me, and it would have been a giant fail if I would have tried. It was the right choice. Let's see. So I have already done 646 stitches, aka diamonds, today. Let's see, that's six, right? Yeah. There were lots of little fiddly bits on this section. Lots of like ones that only have one color in the whole nine box square. Okay, and that one goes all the way down. Nice. But I've gotten into, look at this, the 
off-white area. That's exciting. Let's see. Oh, that looks a little trashy. There's my little trash pot. And I just did a video. I think it was yesterday. It's not it's not posted yet because uh, I kind of have a, a backlog of other random videos that I need to Ugh. almost said purchase publish first uh, but I got some diamonds for a future project and I will go over that project more in length at a later time but I am excited okay wait a minute no what did I do? I did something. Why does this not look right now? I think I did it right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Three. Okay. That's good. I'm right. I did it right. I did it right. I did it right. Oh, and I forgot to mention I am using my mini pink kidding up kitten tray that was a limited release from the last DIY DP May and I know she is doing another event for November and there's also going to be another limited edition tray but I do not know what color it is going to be We all will find out at the same time, I guess. And if you hear any um, yelling, it's good yelling, I promise. Uh, the teenager is playing virtual reality upstairs with some friends and uh, it gets quite loud. My cat is using the table to get onto something else. Very helpful. Very helpful. Okay, what was I? That, okay, these are in here. And then that one right there. And then this crunchy one. I love that crunch. Oh, that one didn't do it. It's all right. That's those two. Oops, that one didn't release itself. Oh my gosh, it's right in the table crack. Always. Go, come on. There's that. Some we need. I love this hot pink right there. Oh, it's like one of my favorites. Okay, there was that crunchy one. And then that one, those two. And I have my new release paper over here from Calb's Sparkles. Switching up the rainbows. The, the black cats seem a little more appropriate for the upcoming fall season, which starts today, uh, and Halloween. And I have my gray cat laying on the chair next to me. Pretty sure he's just waiting for me to get up so he can steal my chair and my warm spot. He can have it when I'm done. We have, well, they're not leather chairs. They're, you know, fake, fake leather chairs. Um, and I was so excited to get them because we had had these kind of wooden chairs before, but they weren't the most comfortable chairs. And so I wanted chairs that had cushions because, you know, we were doing 
online school with COVID and all that jazz. And so my brain was like, I want comfy chairs. Makes sense because we're sitting there doing schoolwork. Well, I did not take into account um, the fact that the cats weren't going to magically leave the chairs alone. And they pretty much scratched them up the first few days. And it wasn't even like they were purposely scratching them. It was just they would jump on the chair and it would tear into the pleather. Yeah, it was not, um, it was not good. So I bought covers for the chairs. I was like, well, I mean, I don't think I can return the chairs to Amazon because my cats scratched them. I mean, I could try, but that would probably not work. So I got covers, but I couldn't find covers in the color, like the tealy color that I bought the chairs in because the whole reason I bought those chairs was because I liked the color of them. They're kind of like a, a Tiffany blue. So then I had to get covers and I was like, well, I probably shouldn't get light colored covers because that seems like that would get dirty faster. Okay, I gotta figure out which, where is this one? So I bought like kind of navy bluish covers, but they've ruined the covers. They've scratched holes in them because, you know, they weren't, I wasn't gonna spend a bunch of money on chair covers because I knew what was gonna happen. They were, you know, gonna get little holes and people were gonna spill on them and they were gonna get stained and all that. Well, I, <laughs> I haven't really taken them off in a while, but I can feel all the scratch marks through the chair covers that are on the chairs. And I'm honestly terrified to take the chair covers off because it's gonna be ugly. Okay, that is... Okay, that's the ten. Okay, so that's that one. But I need to do it. But ugh, it's like this is gonna be so depressing. And then sometimes they will actually purposely scratch at the chairs, and I'm like, dude, you're gonna get declawed. So don't even be doing that. We do not destroy furniture. We have so many scratching posts in this stupid house. We have like cardboard ones. We have fabric ones. We have rope ones. It's like, no, there is no excuse for scratching the furniture. They've also ruined two of my closet doors that we had kind of had to be kind of built specially because they're not like standard size closets. And so we had them made to look kind of like barn doors. So they're super cute. Well, they're made with, you know, real wood. And they really like the texture of that real wood under their little claws. So they've scratched those up. Pets are not for people who want to keep their house neat and tidy. I will say that much. There's always something getting scratched or puked on or ruined or whatever. <laughs> kind of like with kids. I mean, my kids aren't scratching and puking on everything. <laughs> Thank goodness. 3371. Where's 3371? There it is. I don't, I do not understand how people have like all white houses, and like white furniture and white carpet and white this and white that with kids. Cause I mean, I understand you can bleach stuff, but I mean, I can't really bleach my couch. That's just, that would not work with the type of couch I have. <laughs> and I mean, I don't want to be getting a, a rug shampooer out like every day because somebody spilled. I mean, I'm messy. So I, I, I wouldn't be able to have white furniture. I mean, I spill all over myself. That's why I have to wear, you know, not 
nice clothes around the house because I slosh stuff on myself. I spill coffee on myself on a daily basis. If I'm cooking, I spill on myself. I, if I'm washing dishes, I'll end up like dirty, soapy water all over myself. Like it'll always be something like super stainy, like spaghetti sauce or something. Let's see, 3021. Let's see, there's only a few of those. We, okay, don't, I gotta make sure I don't put that near my trash gel pot because I don't want, oh, geez, I am like way out of shot. Jeez, Louise, why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, goodness. Let's see, where am I now? Where am I on this pattern? Oh my gosh. Okay. One little one over there, little tiny one. Yeah, so I am at 10%, which means that I am, well, each panel is about 33%. So if I'm at 10% on one panel, in theory, that means that I am a third of the way done with one panel. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay. when you like look up to look at your pattern and then you look down and you're like where the heck was I come on I even have a second cup of coffee but I may be regretting that if I get a little jittery because I have not eaten breakfast oh my gosh I haven't eaten breakfast oh my go on there seriously but look my my cup says they want me to be magical, so that's nice. That's a right-handed cup, because look, if I pick it up with my left hand, I don't get to use the lid, or not the lid, the handle. Because if I use my left hand to pick it up, then I don't have the cute picture on the side. I'm a left-handed person living in a right-handed person's world. That's the biggest problem I have today. I mean, and I consider myself pretty darn lucky. It's those little things that you notice sometimes though. Okay, so that is that. That one is right there. That was a nice crunch. And I even got to make flavored coffee today because my husband left early this morning to go do something and he did not make coffee coffee he just made a cup of instant coffee which means there was no coffee for me when I got up which is always sad There's nothing worse than having to actually like think and make the coffee and since I'm I, I can't I can't do Keurigs so you know I actually have to make coffee so but I lived and then I was like, oh my gosh, I get to actually maybe use some of the coffee he won't drink. Probably take me like a year to get through that bag of coffee. That's okay. Let's see, six, six down. He likes his coffee way stronger than I do anyways. He'll joke with me and when he's watching me make it, he's like, oh, yeah, don't add too much coffee in there. It's like, no, oh, shut up. Just because I don't want to drink, like, gas station sludge doesn't mean that my coffee is not strong enough. Rude. That's what I say. So, all right, we are at 763 out of 900. Go in there, little friend. And I think it was yesterday, or whatever day I did the last 
section. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I honestly can't remember. It's been weird. It's been a weird week. Uh, I finally used Ecru. So that was, uh, you know, as exciting as it could be. Because I had not used that. Sometimes I look at a color and I'm like, oh, I've never used that symbol before. But then I'm like, eh, I probably have. But I knew that I had not done Ecru yet. All right, that, where is that one? That's, is it that one? Really? No, that doesn't look right at all. This one. All right, come on. Marker, marker, marker. That's that one. is like so super super tight and poppy oh yep yeah, that's where the table crack is Two little nuggets right there. Hopefully this one makes a nice crunch a crunch -a. Let's see, we got two here, three here. I do love it when it gets to the more, I, well, I, I wouldn't call this color blocking, but the sections where you can put more down, down, oh, diamonds down, oof, at a time. It's very satisfying to help see the little area. I don't want to have a hole in it. Fill in a little bit faster. Okay, so that. Wait. Oh, okay. I accidentally touched the section before I had finished it. I should know better than that. That's how I get myself into trouble and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay. There's all those clover symbols. I feel like I'm kind of playing with fire with my coffee here, I gotta say. Because normally I do not have a giant open cup. Next to my stuff. But technically both cats appear to be resting. Probably just charging up their batteries so they can have the zoomies later. Like, are they always, I swear, they, they know when, it's like, if I want to take a nap, right, or rest and just kind of sit there and do nothing, it's like, no, why, why can't you guys rest at the same time, like, I want to rest, why, why is it the complete opposites? What is going on? Oh, this glue dot looks disgusting, but it's at the good sticky level, so I will put up with the ugliness of the glue dot for the functionality of it. And I am on day four of these nail wraps, and I am actually kind of impressed. I have never done nail wraps before in my life. I, I think I've purchased them but then been too intimidated to actually dry them. Okay, I did not do that one, don't mark it. Um, but I watched a bunch of videos, because <laughs> that's what I do. I'm gonna try to over-educate myself so I don't completely screw it up. But then, you know, you watch other people do it and then they don't follow the rules that like, you know, the company says to do. 
and they do it their own way. And then you're like, okay, well, is this better or worse? And then you have people who like say, oh yeah, this is amazing. And others who be like, these are complete trash. So it's like, well, okay. So it's very, it can be very difficult to like try to figure out, you know, it's like, you know, with like diamond painting stuff, you know, some people swear by the, the putties and this and that. And then other people are like, no, oh my gosh, that's evil. It's garbage. So it's like, okay, well, you know, I think you just have to try things for yourself to figure out what works for you. Oops, didn't even grab one. But I, I, I did kind of scare myself with the nail wraps because uh, I did not realize they were glow in the dark. So I... I put them on after I got out of the shower at night and because it said one person said it's best to do them at night before bed that way you're not like you know scrubbing and they have a little bit more time to you know adhere to your nails which I'm like that makes sense so I did my shower I did the nail wraps come on and is that right yeah I guess that is okay um and then I went you know, when I was like, okay, I brushed my teeth, did all my stuff, got into our bedroom and I looked down and I was like, ah, because my nails were literally day glow. <laughs> they were glowing like bright green, like they're teal. And I must not have paid attention to the, the listing or because I don't think it said glow in the dark on the actual little like packet that the, the strips are on, but maybe it did and I just didn't even notice it, but yeah. <laughs> so that was a little scary. Cause I was like, oh my gosh. So then I had fun trying to scare everyone else with my glow in the dark nails, but no one else was really scared by it. Cause you know, nails aren't really scary, <laughs> but I thought it was hilarious. So but they have been, I mean, I haven't, like, done, like, anything overly, I don't know, rough on them, I guess. Like, have not, I actually do need to do a kitting down, but I'm like, I don't want to try to pick stickers off with them, um, which would be a good test to see how durable they are. Um, but, I mean, you know, like, I haven't been out, like, digging in the yard or anything like that. But I have not had any, like, major chips. Now that I say that, I probably will. Uh, and I even was not the best and I got it like over my cuticle on a few places because I was not, I, 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 you know, I was a little panicked and my hands were shaking while I was doing it. <laughs> oh, I got Ecru again. Ecru. So yeah. I got some, I got some fun Halloween ones as well. So that'll be fun. I got some like kind of blood spattered looking ones, which I mean, you could wear outside of Halloween, obviously, but they seemed more Halloween appropriate. So, but I do love a good true crime show. Oh, I just watched a seven part series on YouTube. Um, it was all about the, the Manson family. And yeah, it was, it was intense. I had read some other stuff and watched some other stuff about the Manson family before, but it was, uh, gave me probably some new information. So it's, it's just interesting how different people's brains work. That one looked like it had a spot on it, but I think it was just the, the light reflecting. Watching true crime at night used to used to not be good because I would be like, oh my gosh, there's someone in the house or, <laughs> you know, you can hear a noise and, you know, you think the Manson family's there to kill you. <laughs> uh, but I think I've just, I think I've kind of become immune to it actually, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. See, we got a little squiggle. Come on, push the push the right one. Oh, we got lots of little squiggles. 
3685. I always get 3685 and 3865 confused in my brain when I see them. For some reason, like the the ones that have four numbers in it, the, the 3000s, like my brain, it just has to take an extra second to process. It's like three numbers. Okay, I can handle that. Four numbers, no. And maybe it's just because it's so, like a lot of the things that we have that are four numbers are, you know, like they might be like a, like a number to unlock your phone or some kind of pin number for your bank or something like that. And so in my brain, I'm like, Whoa, wait a minute. I mean, I'm not saying any of my pen numbers look like, you know, any of these 3000 DMCs, because, uh, yeah, I'm not saying my pen number out loud. Good God. That would be bad. I do not need to deal with trying to change all my account numbers and all my automatic payments again. I'm still cleaning up the mess from. I think it was like August when my credit card number got compromised. So it's like all of a sudden I got a sing from Netflix and it's like, oh, your subscription has expired. And I'm like, what? No, I updated that. So, but I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of scam emails out there too now with like things like I keep getting things from saying they're from Apple, you know, like, oh yeah, your, your Apple ID uh, your, your payment didn't go through or your, your account is now locked. So, you know, click on this and update your information. And it's scary because sometimes they look real and, you know, I don't, so I don't even click on links in any emails. I'm like, I will physically go to the Apple, my Apple area, and I will look at it that way because you just, you can't trust anything anymore. It's so sad. It's like people could to just be honest and like get some like jobs instead of trying to scam people. And it's like, I feel bad for my, my mom cause she can't see very well. And so she'll get emails and she's like, well, I don't know if this is real or not. And so I'll look at it and I'll be like, yeah, I think it's okay. Or like, no, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't click on that. Oops, stop. see, look at me. Go, oh, oops, see, I just marked two off that I didn't do. Hurry up and do them before my brain forgets that I did them. There's that one. Oh, it looks very similar to the other pink that's right next to it. Like, super similar. There's two fish symbols, and they're both, I think, this hot pink. Like, very similar hot pink, I should say. Let's see, we are almost done. And then I am going to put those diamonds in their container before my cats get a hold of them. I, <laughs> my cat decided that uh, I had my new whip Oh, kitten tree on my easel and because it's bigger than my projects usually are on my easel uh, there was a little overhang on the top and I didn't roll it up inside of itself so the plastic was hidden I figured I could probably just leave it like that no I could not because I was sitting at the table eating and I heard this like crunching and crackling and I was like what what is that? Like, what does the cat have? That's, that doesn't sound like one of his cat toys. And, you know, we're really good about picking up plastic because he eats it. He was on my diamond painting desk and his face was just shoved into the, the diamond painting. And he was going to town on the top part of my canvas. Luckily, he he was mainly, he was going for the plastic, which I mean, is lucky, but he did not get into the actual glue area. And this plastic was, the one on that canvas, it had a lot of overhang. 
I don't, I don't think I've ever had a diamond art club with that much extra plastic going around it. Uh, but he gnawed it real, real good. Uh, he chewed up a lot of holes. Like the whole top strip is covered in cat teeth holes. So I was not happy. It was covered in his kitty saliva. Yeah, words were spoken. Not friendly words. <laughs> not friendly words at all. So there we go. Look, I didn't even get any extra little cheat cheat. Around there, I got 900 stitches today. I am at 21,600 out of 202,499. I'm at 10.67%. And we're gonna move this over so the next section is ready to go. Let me put my trash drills away before I end up tipping it over. So this is how much trash drills I have so far. And there are, you know, I didn't notice it at the beginning when I started this project, but yeah, the, the DPF drills, they definitely have a lot of curved bottoms. And some of them are really extreme and others aren't quite as bad, but I don't know. And these ones actually look pretty darn flat compared to some of the ones. So let's put this away before I forget. See, empty bottle. Here we go, matches my nails. There. And after the two month saga of give me my dang drills, we finally have all of them. Super ridiculous, honestly. I never did receive the uh, the package that they said they they had sent, but they just didn't have the tracking number for. So I'm just going to assume that they didn't send it at all. But who knows? Maybe someday I will get a random package delivery of eight two eight. But I am not gonna hold my breath. Wow, these have some static in them though. Dang. Well, that is it. There's the full, full picture so far. It's so pretty, so pretty. Oh, I have no idea where I'm gonna hang this. <laughs> Cause there's three panels, doot, doot, doot. So it's, it's gonna be pretty big. That's okay, I'll figure that out later. And I don't know how I'm gonna attach them or what I'm gonna put it on. Again, that is a future Kristen problem, not a current Kristen problem. There we go. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. If you have not liked and subscribed, do it. It's free, it costs you nothing, but you know, it makes me smile and it helps me out. And until next time, big awkward hugs, guys. Bye.